Queen Cornwall's about classic, timeless products with a contemporary twist. There is a constant to it. We've got a product that people love. My first proper job was working in London in Russell and Bromley in Bond Street. Much to my parents' disgust, I decided not to go to university and went off to London with a drummer in a band. So I went to Australia in 96 and spent 15 years there. And then I decided that I would create my own range of scarves. That's my passion, I guess, embroidery. My grandmother was a fantastic embroideress and that stayed with me really, that love of colour and thread. I missed Cornwall. Cornwall is somewhere that pulls you back, so I wanted to come home. It's so beautiful, you know, the light, the colour of the sea. I feel like I belong, you know, it's my place, it's my home. My design background is with woven and knitted textiles. I did my degree in Liverpool. I did a work placement at a small studio whilst I was at college. Went back to see them when I finished and stayed for 21 years. <laughs> so... <laughs> It was something that I really, really enjoyed. But sometimes I didn't feel as though you got enough out of all of the ideas that you had. It was just time to think about doing something a little bit different. So that's what we did. We up sticks and we came down to Cornwall. At the time, I was wandering around deciding what I was going to do with this little inkling of an idea. I used to go to anything that was free workshop-wise and Alison was there at the workshop. So we used to discuss bits and pieces. And I just said to her one day, I want to do this business, but I don't want to do it by myself because I've always worked by myself. So I said to her, should we do it together? And then the next thing, Alison was emailing over a list of names because we were like, what are we going to call it? And cream was there, and I'm like, cream, it's got to be cream. All those connotations around it for the colour, cream, the best of. And we felt it was really important to have Cornwall in the name so that people knew where it came from and what its heritage was. So Cream Cornwall was born. I guess the first success was when we put the things in Alison's window, people walking along, saw these things and knocked on the door to ask about them, and that was really exciting. You hear people talking on the other side and making all these fantastic comments about things. And then uh, we started to sample and think about products and I think most people design one thing. They do tableware, ceramics, but we've decided that we would do everything and we didn't really have a lot of money so we eked it out doing all these things. We had six mugs done and six plates and <laughs> Like it was really tiny, really tiny quantities and we made lots of it ourselves. But I think having that first year was really important because we formed exactly what the brand was about. Some shops started asking us if we would supply them and said to Alison, well, why don't we do a trade show? Let's just find out if anyone else likes it. And Alison somehow managed to organise a stand at the NEC, which is a huge trade show. It was all very exciting. And then on the last day, we said, right, OK, who do we want to come to the stand today? And liberties, OK. Rebecca had to go off and see somebody else. And sure enough, she'd only been gone two minutes. And the girl from Liberties came on and placed an order. And it was so exciting. We were wholesaling to lots of shops all around the country, which was fantastic. And that's what really got us going. But once we had the shop, that was just different. It just opened up a whole new world to us. For me as well, because I've grown up in Falmouth and I'd seen this shop and I bought my first pair of jeans there when I was 14. And I'd always absolutely loved that shop. We'd always had this bigger vision and that moment of having the keys to the shop was really special. If you've got an idea, then go for it. Because it doesn't matter whether you're 40, 50, 60, anything is possible and everything is attainable if you really want it.